hey you guys i'm back with another tutorial this is a talk through tutorial but i just wanted to come and let you guys know to excuse the white cast coming from my eyes in this video it's because i'm recording with my flash on and also excuse my fan in the background and i'm just gonna let you guys get into the video i'm gonna take a skin tone color and just blend it all into our crease into our crease <laughs> And yeah, but now we're gonna take this orange shade from my Anastasia Shadow Couture palette. And it's called Morocco. Actually, I'm gonna pick up a darker burnt orange from my 35O palette. And I'm just gonna really shape out my crease. Go a little bit above because I have hooded legs. So I'm just gonna go above it a little bit. And I'm also gonna make like a, a V shape at the end and break it in right here. I'm gonna use the blender brush side and just brush out, blend out really that harsh line at the top. Okay. And now I'm going to take this BH Cosmetic brush and the number is brushed off of the, well I don't think this set came with the number but it's from their Face Essentials brush and I'm going to take a black eyeshadow from my Shadow Couture palette and you can take any really black black eyeshadow and we're going to just start putting it in the outer crease first. You really want to be like really careful with the black take a little by little because if you take too much you really just gonna look like you got a black eye and beat up and we don't want to look like that so yeah we're gonna blend it right on our outer part and then we're gonna cut it into the crease. Now I'm going to take this um, blending brush from Coastal Scents and I'm going to pick up Morocco and blend more of that burnt orange shade on top of the black, above the black. Black in with the skin tone color and blending above those colors because we don't want to bring that burnt orange all the way up. I'm going to take this slanted type of brush that I have also from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to go in with the black eyeshadow and I'm going to cut the crease and really line it out with this Really go into it and define it with the black. And now I'm gonna go in with the Morocco shading. Just blend it over top of the black. Liner, my favorite eyeliner, and. 
I'm going to line my eyes and we're going to do a thin layer of liner and we're not going to do a wing but if you want to do a wing eyeliner you can but we're just really going to connect it to like right here so just watch what I'm doing Harsh line from the liner, you just go in with the black and just blend it so it can blend into the shadow. And now I'm just going to repeat the same step on my other eye. Box primer water. So wet your foundation brush. And now, now I'm gonna start blending and buffing it in. Pro Conceal HD 
High Definition Concealer by LA Girl in the color Creamy Beige. And then I'm gonna set it with my banana powder. And if you're medium, like a dark medium to dark brown or dark skin, you don't really wanna use this powder. Uh, I recommend have, using the Laura Mercier translucent powder or the Sasha Buttercup powder for darker tones because if you use the Ben Nye banana powder, it's really gonna make you look ashy. But I'm gonna apply this in the triangle of motion. And right now my face looks really oily. I applied coconut oil before I applied the primer to my face. So that's probably what's giving me this look. This really dewy finish. And the dewy finish is really a natural, fresh look. But yeah, I'm just gonna take this duo fiber um, brush from Real Techniques and blend out my concealer. face brush and now I'm going to contour my nose then you always want to bring the color into your eyeshadow so it won't look harsh you really want everything to blend together you don't just want to have a straight line going up and now we're going to bronze I'm taking my Black Radiance Soft Complexion Powder in the color Milk Chocolate to bronze my face. Okay, now I'm going to take some more of that banana powder and apply it under my bronzer. You know, while I let that sit under there, I'm just gonna brush it away. And we're gonna be doing something really, really fun today that I haven't tried before. Well, I tried it yesterday. I did it yesterday for the first time. But we're gonna add freckles. You don't have to add freckles if you don't want to. But this is really a fun look. And I just think it just brings everything together. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Brown Eye Coal. I really don't like this pencil. It's really stiff. It's not really soft. I don't recommend this for eyes. But if you want to just use it for like a brown pencil to have like for freckles. I recommend it. But we're just going to. How I do it. I just put it on there and twist it. Because. When I just dot it, it's so hard, it doesn't really show up. So I just put it on there and twist and add the freckles. And if they look too harsh, I just blend it out with my finger. off the excess powder now we're gonna add our lip like I said before in my previous video I like to overline my lips which makes your lips look bigger and I love to do it. You don't have to, but I love doing it. But 
we're gonna apply two lip colors first i'm gonna apply the color pop both of them are color pop but first i'm gonna apply the color pop lipstick in chi from the karuchi collection which is my all-time favorite nude And the second color we're going to add after this dries is a color Clueless. <laughs> it's in the color Clueless. But we're going to add our highlighter. And I'm taking my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. Which is my favorite golden highlight. Like this is like the perfect highlighter ever. The most perfect highlighter ever. It has like golden specks in it. It's worth the money, it's like $26, but I, when I tell you it's so worth it. So now that that color has dried, I'm gonna dab a little bit of the Clueless over top of the cheek to give us a pink look. I think pink and denim is just such beautiful, gorgeous colors together. But yeah, last but not least, I'm just going to apply my lashes and I'm going to come back. Put on my eyelashes. Um, the glue is still kind of drying. Uh, I didn't let it fully dry before I applied them, which I never do. I really just stick my lashes on and let them dry while they're on. But this is the finished look. Like, subscribe, and comment on this video, my previous videos. Subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys like my content so far. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. <laughs> Do it, I'm scared of it.